you know, I wanted to make a uh, video um, in relevance to uh, debt. You know, what is debt? Debt is something that you and I acquire uh, if we take out a bank loan and we want to pay that back uh, with the interest uh, along with the principal over the lifespan of that um, that loans maturity uh, and if, if fortunate we're able to gain enough uh, credits uh, or currency um, to pay that pay that loan back early um, but what is debt okay if all countries have currency that is owed back to someone with interest and that currency comes into circulation that's owed back to someone with interest and is backed by nothing that fiat currency is debt so really when you talk about a country that is in debt by trillions of dollars that's owed back to someone but has a dependency and codependency that revolves the world's trade and world's commerce and um, exchangeability from currency fiat and is debt based really what is national debt or debt really what's the relevance of that you know and and for someone to wrap their mind around what is debt what is national debt we owe someone back something with the principal and the interest of borrowing from that but the global scheme of things when you talk about that um, if one country has the ability for a global currency and they borrow from someone with the principal and the interest of that but the borrower has a codependency of the dependency of getting something back from the purchasing of that really what is debt right i'm not saying run the debt up to uh, obliviancy but what I'm saying is at what point does the confidence within that structure of fiat currency backed by nothing other than the confidence between governments and central banks saying that we can keep this running um, in parallel with our citizens that are dumb as fuck part my French um, which quite frankly a lot of citizens really don't understand this yet even take the um, the time to really understand what all this means but yet they take their investments and they go to a um, investment firm or, or a broker and say hey I want you to invest my life savings into you know something you think that would really be good for me you know you know when it comes to investing and taking your life savings uh, or take a deduction of your payroll into an investment plan regardless of whatever it is it shows the lack of um, responsibility and accountability when it comes to what you want to have happen with your investment plan and your end goal for retirement. This is the number one thing that just is it's clueless to me why you would want to not have any education whatsoever when it comes to your retirement and the currency or the credits or deductions of payroll out of your hard-earned bust-ass savings and you put your 
trust into someone not knowing any on any financial education whatsoever and you put that trust into someone that you feel they should know what they're doing and they may have a Keynesian economics view on the investment atmosphere and they invest your hard-earned savings into a future plan that is a business cycle and say well it's just in turn that this may go down but in the long term you'll be able to make some on this um, it's 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 complete idiocy why you would even want to trust someone and not take any initiative or understanding of the research or even the educational side of things to why you would want to trust someone with your decision it makes no sense but yet in the popular American society the way things happen from the way I see things and have not only just pers have a perspective on it but have specifically seen the results of someone wanting to take their hard-earned currency and prosperity and put it into the hands of someone that gets paid a commission based upon selling you something that benefits themselves but in hopes that their decision based upon your initial investment of your hard-earned wealth into an investment vehicle that may yield you a gain which they could give a shit less really because they already get their fees up front <sighs> really I mean why would you not want to educate yourself financially understand these investment in financial terms to really self-improve your own wealth so you can take charge of your own destiny and put that to work it doesn't make any sense to me but that's just me you know um, is it that the in the informational network that we're living in nowadays the fast internet based world we're living in is to where that we don't want to put that effort into and then that we think that the fees that we pay an investment advisor to do for us will do the best interest for us without in a a uh, alternative um, viewpoint on those things that folks is what Einstein would call insanity okay if you look up the definition of what insanity is is doing the same thing over and over again and expecting a different result that is idiocy take the time to take your own research and the time needed to understand what these things mean and invest your own hard-earned wealth into those areas and don't trust someone else's advice advice or what they feel is right based upon a fee they want to charge you in different investment vehicles that they can make a fee off of people you gotta wake up okay take the time don't be fucking lazy and get the job done okay that's all I can say I've seen this stuff happen many times I'm young um, but I've been watching this stuff for years and watching some um, veterans in the game that own their own businesses um, our investment advisors tax advisors um, CEOs um, people that have started uh, their own investment uh, vehicles um, people that have been interviewed on CNBC um, I mean you name it you know I've watched a lot of this stuff unfold and uh, that's some good advice 
from me to you is do your own due diligence in your own research and take charge of your own financial investment um, outcome. Take care.